Welcome to September's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is nth Tribonacci number. The Tribonacci sequence is defined as follows. T0 is equal to 0, T1 is equal to 1, and T2 is equal to 1. Now T of 3 is going to be equal to T um, basically 2, 1, 0 here. So that's going to give us a total of 2. Now we're going to continue that sequence up until we want to return the nth number. So this is really just a variation of the Fibonacci question. All we need to do is keep track of the previous three numbers. Now the first way we can, well we can certainly do something recursive, but I've always found <clears throat> the iterative solution a little more understandable. Uh, what we're going to do is create an array, right? And we already know what the base cases are. It's going to be 0, 1, 1. What we'll do is just create an array of however number, many numbers we need and we are going to just add the previous three here and that's going to give us two and then we add the previous three here and that's going to give us four like i think that's pretty self-explanatory right so uh, let's begin by creating a uh, an array for this what i'll do is add the base cases zero one one plus uh you know what, just to make it simple i'm going to say zero uh, times the max which they gave us here it's going to be 37 so it's at 35. okay so four i in range of the we're going to we've already fulfilled these three so we're going to start the third third index number so we'll say three and we're going to have to go n plus one because we need to calculate this number here uh, we'll say all right t of i is equal to literally just say t i minus one plus plus the others i minus two i minus three this is three this is two and after that, we just need to return our t of n. And that should be it. Let's make sure this works. Couple of edge cases here, a uh, couple of test cases here, and we'll see what we get. All right, so that looks like it's working. And accepted. So this is O of n time complexity, but we do use O of n space because of our array. Now, if you really, really want to avoid using this extra space, you can actually do that by storing the previous three uh, variables uh, it's a little bit more tricky but but not not too bad what we'll do is say uh, set the previous one previous two and previous three this is going to indicate how far back it is and the previous one is one previous two is one and the previous three is zero right so if n is equal to zero then we return what is it previous three if n is equal to one return previous two if n is equal to two return previous one now, otherwise, everything else kind of remains the same. We don't need this i anymore. Uh, what we're going to do is store an output, start with zero, and we will say, look, just make output equal to previous one plus previous two plus previous three. Now, all we need to do is update our previous ones. Uh, so we'll have to do this backwards. We'll say, let's see, previous three is now equal to previous two. Previous two is now equal to previous one and previous one is equal to the output wherever we stored. So finally just return this output and this should also work. There we go, uh, accepted. So this is also O of n time complexity, but we use constant space. But really just because our n is so small, I don't think it makes a big difference. All right, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.